Oh my god, dude. They do not do that shit anymore. I heard all this banging. God damn, bro. It's like boot camp. <laughs> Chris looks like shit, dude. <laughs> Look at this guy. I wonder if he takes like some sleeping medication or some shit. This guy looks like. <laughs> he looks like shit, dude. 15 years experience in a professional kitchen. And you've never been woken up by banging cookware. Last one in, lazy. <laughs> <laughs> Lift off your domes. Bro, yeah, dude, these kind of challenges were f goaded. Like, they don't do these anymore either. This is pretty f hardcore. This man woke him up at the crack of dawn to do a squid challenge. In a squid, the team's attention to detail will be tested. <laughs> dude, Barry, he looks like he saw a ghost. I don't blame him, bro. What the fuck? This guy's like putting the squid on the zucchini like a condom. Like, what the f is happening? Make sure you keep them whole. And the guts completely cleaned out. Put your fingers right down inside. Oh. Scooky, gucky, nasty stuff. It was so gross. The teams aren't even beefing yet. That's rare. Usually after one challenge, the team is like talking shit when they're going to the reward. Maybe that's why they changed it to boys versus girls, which causes even more beef. Oh, and they're eating in the restaurant. Interesting. Crazy how this show's changed over the years. Pretty nice, huh? Sitting out there having some champagne, it looks like. Yeah, it certainly looks like champagne instead of sitting here cleaning squid. <laughs> oh my god, this guy. Shut the f*** up. Ew, bro. That is one major difference. They 100% do not film them sleeping anymore. Throughout the blue team's kitchen, there's going to be no air conditioning. <laughs> very own restaurant, you don't throw the towel in. You stand there like a man, and you sweat, and you get up with it, and you feed those customers. Season one was hardcore. It would get so hot in the kitchen, all those stove tops and ovens running. Can you not see that that's burned? Yes, chef. Yeah, so you're mixing away like a donkey. We're about seven tables behind. That doesn't do much for me. Yeah, right. Can I just say you do all for me either? What do you want Sorry. me to You do nothing for me either. I just don't understand why it's so difficult to serve some people their food. Are you that arrogant? You haven't got a clue what's going on behind me? Seems like you have a lot of amateur sous chefs. Right. Don't. Finally, your head's coming outside your and I sit down, you You're useless, you know that. I am. Goodbye. Goodbye. That's it. You yes, never. Chef. Hello. Dessert your section again. Do you understand? Yes, yes, you stand chef. there like a man and you face it. We've been waiting for food for about two hours and 45 minutes now. So, why don't you. Asparagus, please. Do you have a doctorate? I do have an education. <laughs> bro, John Philippe's going in, bro. He was the goat maitre d'. Do you have a doctorate? I do have an education. Then you are less educated would, than me, so I don't would. get in my face, buddy. Hey, sir, you're out here. Let's leave, please. Now. Too bad John Philippe did deck him, but that's his job to f keep his cool. He's a pro. Oh yeah, that's another reason that he doesn't do the comment cards anymore. Because, like, technically it's Chef Ramsay's job to make sure nothing bad goes out. Like, he's the last line of defense. So, like, if a comic card says something bad, it actually reflects badly on Chef Ramsay. Dubry, you're going tonight for one very simple reason. Oh, you're a coward. No. Give me your jacket. No, oh, dude. And get out of Hell's Kitchen. Look at you, J-Lo. <laughs> that is one funny, jolly big guy. I miss Dewberry. I miss him already. <laughs> they all miss Dewberry. I know, he was the coolest guy. Somebody's going from the blue team to the red team. It's one thing I love about this show, is how they shake the teams up. Michael. Yes, chef. Give me your jacket. You're going to the red team. There's nothing for me. It's the kind of who serves to your sick rabbit. Not just your rabbit, but your sick rabbit. <laughs> Look at this guy. He's so devious. I've never seen a peach with a ribeye. Disgusting. I thought cold water was supposed to boil faster than hot water. What? Wow, dude. That's crazy, bro. I thought cold water was supposed to boil faster than hot water. What? I'm not trying to do this to you, chef. You gave me a plate of risotto that was disgusting. Yeah. Migos! 
<laughs> Stuff the dining room with 30 customers not eating. Now, f back on your section. I'm not a quitter. You're not a quitter. Hey, you're not a cook either. What was that? What did you just say? Oh, shit. I want you to say it louder. I want you to say it louder, Jeff. <laughs> Gordon's right hand lady heard him, dude. I want you to say it louder, Jeff. What did you say? I don't yeah. know what to tell you. You're a Go, please. Jeff will not be returning to Hell's Kitchen. I bet he's like regretting getting rid of Dewberry instead of him now. Five minutes, Jeff. Yeah, been right five minutes. Let's go. Everything I tell you, you come back with the most pathetic answers. Always got something to say. Button it. You've now pushed me to the limit. I suggest you shut your mouth. Yeah. Bro, <laughs> just bit it. You cooked a salty risotto and sent it over the hot plate. So this is a really tough decision. Because you're both crap. <laughs> the person leaving Hell's Kitchen tonight. Brutal. Is Wendy. Get her out of here. She ain't. She ain't. And you smart ass. She ain't. Lucky stars just standing. Cut out for it. Even from the first season, the show was no. so good. It's gotten better. The show's f fire, dude. Jeff, it sounds like he could have got away with calling him an asshole. Cause like Gordon Ramsay, like he dishes it out, but he could take it. It's just that he like gave up. I don't think it's so much that he called him an asshole. Even Gordon was like, you know, it's not the worst thing I've been called. Let's let's take a look at them sleeping. This is creepy. No wonder they don't do that anymore. Oh my god, why do they have to traumatize them like this? Napkins <laughs> look like they've just come out of a lady's toilet. You would think a pigeon would smell that. I'm just pulling out. Did this man just stick his fingers in a pigeon's? Gross. I mean, it just smells oh. like something really, really foul. That's how we prep a pigeon for service. Two fingers in, insert into the pigeon's. Oh, this thing stank. Oh. Thank you, Chef Ramsey. Thank you. With six you. Hours, you don't see no pigeons on the Hell's Kitchen menu anymore. I kept my mouth shut tonight, Chef, and it shows that I'm a learning machine. A learning I machine. <laughs> I don't know about all that. A learning machine. <laughs> Didn't have to put it like that, and you just sound like an idiot. Could have just said shows that I'm growing as a chef. Leaving Hell's Kitchen tonight. 100% Mary Ellen. It's Mary Ellen. Called it. When you're facing the devil in Hell's Kitchen, shut your mouth. Props to him though for swallowing his pride and like taking the feedback from Ralph. Definitely shows something. Cause I could have easily seen that guy like just spiraling and just keep talking back and not take Ralph's feedback. Um, I believe I'm the strongest chef. <laughs> this guy constantly just looks like he just woke up. <laughs> Look at him. There you go. Arms out. Wow. Jimmy, you look delicious as a blonde. Why hasn't been Michael since day one? Bro, it's like you know that they're filming you. What are you doing, bro? I'm quiet and watching and thinking and plotting and manipulating and waiting. And not give bro, what are you doing right now? About anybody right now. I have to concern myself with myself. Fucking loser, I dude. Chef Got everything on the line for this. <laughs> it's like you know you're being filmed, so it's like he's literally giving like a monologue. You didn't get the menu yet, did you? No. <laughs> <laughs> Major D in this place is the last What do you suggest, <laughs> Ralph? What do you suggest? I'm gonna tell you what you're gonna have. have Damn, he threw JP under the bus. Oh no! No, no! Dirty ball! What are you signing <laughs> napkins? Come on! Get your Belgian bollocks over here. Going, Ralph's losing it, bro. Do me a favor. You're sweating. Oh my god. <laughs> bro, get this man a sweat rag, dude. Where is that fat like an inflated turd cloud? Jimmy! Copy boy, let's go. I just want four talking from you, Ralph. Nothing more. Pathetic. Damn. Go for walk, lose some weight. Poor Jimmy. <laughs> Getting fat shamed. Jimmy. Stop touching yourself. Don't Let's touch your head. Okay, Don't sorry. touch your face. So why does it take so long? We've been waiting like for an yeah. hour and a half. Feedback. Feedback yeah. is always the best. You have a good night. Yeah, and you. Okay. You lose some weight. Service. <laughs> <laughs> He's playing dirty, bro. But Gordon likes that shit. Like, Gordon wants you to want it. But that's why in the newer seasons, like, he doesn't have one person nominate. Most of the time, he has everybody vote to nominate and come to a consensus. Like, if it's just one person nominating, you can't f 
trust that they're gonna make like legit decisions and they're not just gonna try to sabotage their biggest threat. Uh, my second nominee is Chris. Chris. Yes. <laughs> wow. Wow. He had such a wonderful night, and he's he's working so hard. And <laughs> Jimmy's laughing. Couldn't put him in that position tonight. Ooh. Jimmy, you've been a bullet dodger, <laughs> bullet swallower. <laughs> well done, Chris. Give me a jacket. We're leaving Hell's Kitchen. What? No way. Someone constantly tells me how good they are and constantly self promotes but doesn't deliver the goods. That pisses me off. Okay, at least he's giving some explanation. So he's gone. Chris was definitely my biggest competitor on that team. This is a competition and there's one winner. Crazy, bro. But at least Gordon gave some explanation on why that was cool. 